I'm Lionel Lebelé and I'm born in the beautiful countryside of France. I have the chance in my career to work for some of the best chefs in the world. I create amazing recipes that I would like to share with you. I now live in the city of San Francisco. And one more time, it's all about the sauces. Hi guys, this is Chef Lionel from ChefLionel.com and today we're going to do together an Italian classic, the Spaghetti alla Bolognese. Nothing like Italy to represent the hospitality. It's like it's always a share around of the table when it's time to eat. So today with limited ingredients, I will show you how to bring in you home the spirit of Italy. And here is a visual of all the beautiful products we're going to use today. And for complete information and recipe, please visit ChefLionel.com. I'm gonna start by making a little cross along the skin of the tomato and I'm also gonna take the stamp off. I boil some water and I'm gonna poach those tomatoes in the water so the skin detach itself easily. After a few seconds, it's ready to flush them into ice water. When they're nice and ice, I can now peel them so easily. Look at that, it comes right off. I can cut them on quarters and fillet the tomatoes. I'm only interested about the meat, so I'm gonna discard all the seeds. Then I'm gonna dice them, such we call in France concassé. In order to get a good tomato sauce, I'm also gonna dice an onion, a little bit of celery. and a carrot. I'm gonna smash a glove of garlic and chop it up very thin. It's time now to cook a sauce. I'm gonna start by putting a drizzle of olive oil inside a saucepan. I'm gonna add half of the onions that I diced earlier. Stir it very well, I want them to sweat a little bit. I'm gonna put the carrots and the celery, a bay leaves, and a little bit of shredded basil. So I don't want any coloration, but I just want them to become translucent. Put a little bit of oregano and my diced tomatoes. Voila, parfait. Now I can pour about a glass of water so the tomatoes and the celery can boil together and a spoon of concentrated tomato. It's gonna make the sauce much richer. A spoon of sugar to reveal the natural sweetness of the tomatoes, salt and pepper. And after an half an hour, it's nice and reduced. You can see the color of the tomatoes much darker and I can blend my sauce. In a large sauté pan, I'm gonna put the ground beef, an onion, and also a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper, and let them sear. I want them nice and sear. When it's completely cooked, I'm gonna pour a glass of red wine. And let them reduce with the red wine. Then, I'm gonna put that rich tomato sauce. Now I'm gonna let them reduce for an extra 20 minutes. Now you have a little trick to make this sauce even more delicious. I'm gonna blend half of that sauce with the beef inside again. That's gonna allow the sauce to become thicker and have those little grains of beef inside. So you have better of both worlds. You have the thick pieces of beef from America and you have also the nice and thin Bolognese sauce from Italy. Look at that, it's nice and thick now. It's gonna retain the sauce much better and make a very rich, sensational tomato sauce. Here it is, your bolognese. I'm gonna make a little decoration for my spaghetti. I'm gonna cut a little bit of the garlic just to reveal a little bit of the inside of the garlic. I'm gonna put them in aluminum paper. 
a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a drizzle of olive oil. I have my oven ready at 350 degrees. I'm gonna bake them just like this. All is left to do is to boil some spaghetti. I'm gonna drain them now. After 11 minutes, I like them al dente. I put a drizzle of olive oil so it doesn't stick. And you remember that nice garlic that I bake in the oven is now ready. I can squeeze a little bit of that garlic right out. It smells amazing. I'm gonna start dressing my plates. Put my pasta, my spaghetti on. Uh, on the bottom of the plate, that rich, beautiful bolognese sauce on the top. My baked garlic. A sprinkle of parmesan. And just to remember the colors of Italy, a little chopped parsley. And here you have it guys, beautiful spaghetti alla polognese. This dish is perfect. It's always one of those dishes that taste better if you share it with people you truly love. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep on cooking and don't forget to subscribe. Rub it all.